Hi, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, it's been four weeks. We are back here at Green Acres, our favourite place. Um, the sun's just coming out. It's been a bit of rain last night. Uh, I just want to thank all of the uh, people who sent me an email. Uh, there was a couple of comments about windbreaks. Um, the consensus was that it's either the uh, Dometic uh, Pro or the Isabella. Um, the uh, coffee vanners sent me an email and uh, they use the Isabella just like Mr. Trudgeon does. Uh, and they, they find that really useful um, and uh, it's got some guy ropes if it gets really windy. Um, we decided not to get that one. We didn't want to use any guy ropes at all. So uh, I'm going to show you in a second what I've got. I've not never taken it out of the bag. Um, we're going to. Uh, I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to set up a tripod um, and uh, see how easy it is to put up. It's a bit windy today. It's going to be perfect. Uh, the spot we're in. I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn the camera around. Uh, the spot where we're in does need a windbreak up for a bit of extra privacy. Uh, so I'll show you that. Um, yeah. So let me show you what we bought. There we go. Dometic Pro 3. Yeah, I've never taken it out of the bag. Uh, oh, and also, you may notice uh, we've got a larger carpet. There you go. So we're fully carpeted now. Rather than that one was a bit short, the uh, the one that was a bit smaller is underneath, so we've got a bit of extra extra support. And where we are here, on pitch number five at Green Acres, we've never been on pitch number five before. Uh, we're normally over there on the hard standing or on the pitch number one there or the hard stand in the other side um, but where we are pitch number five in the corner is the setup uh, it's quite close well it's next to the gate there that takes you into storage so we want to set the windbreak up just here so we can have a tiny little bit of privacy um, it doesn't it's not busy busy here there's not lots of comings and goings um, but yeah just gives us that little bit of privacy for when we're sitting out here playing uh, a bit of trivial pursuit later on or getting the Jenga out. Anyway, I'll set the tripod up uh, and I'll open the uh, bag up, see what's inside uh, and I'll try setting it up. Um, if need be, I'll speed up the uh, the filming. I'm sure you don't want to watch me put the whole thing up and see how we go. So first of all, let's have a look and see what we get in the bag. I've got to say, this is never opened this before. Some holes, some pegs, instructions. Do we need these? Let's see how we go. And uh, this must be the actual windbreak itself. The other reason for getting this um, was because it matches everything else we've got. So, you know, it matches the uh, canopy colours and uh, M's quite fussy about things matching, you know, what can I say? Oh, it's like Christmas. There we go. Right, let me move the tripod uh, and I'll have a go at putting it up without the instructions.
Now, that was interesting. Can you see the sweat? I, I, do you know what? I think it's a two person job. Uh, it's not something uh, to do on your own when it's windy. If it was really, really calm, probably would have been all right. But that took 20 minutes in the end. Um, I had to move some of the bases around. I didn't get it quite right. Uh, but I'm going to spin the camera around and uh, show you the finish, which is actually, you know, the finish we've got is we've got the desired effect. So it's done what it said on the tin. And we've got what we paid for exactly uh, how we expected it to be so let me spin the camera around so that's the outside <clears throat> i've used the pegs that came with uh the windbreak to peg the actual screen down so that's the outside so this is the bit that we're not looking at and then we'll go inside and that's what we've got so we're screened from the little drive there, which is perfect. You know, and it's been blowy, um, and now it's not moving, which is fantastic. Uh, so I'm quite impressed. It's, oh, we paid 190 pounds for it. There it is, Dometic Pro Windbreak 3. Uh, as I say, you know, we could have gone for the Isabella, but it wouldn't have matched the canopy. <laughs> you know, we're uh, black, gray, and white. And we're all matching. So, let me spin the camera back round. 
<laughs> this is our last uh, little mini break. It's our last shakedown before our trip to France. We're going to Chateau Grand Spet, uh, which is used as a transitional site for most people. But we decided that you know it's such a great location for the northern coast of France. We're going to stay there. I think we're eleven nights, two weeks, eleven nights, um, and we're going to explore the northern part of France from that location. So we'll give you a review of how Chateau Grand Despet is as a holiday stay rather than uh, one or two night stopover. So uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like the video, please subscribe. You know, I get about 6,000 views a month, um, but not too many subscribers. So maybe it's me, I don't know. But anyway, please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing uh, and then you can catch us um, from Chateau Grand Despet. See you soon.